All right, everyone, we start off today with bad news, which is that the CASE Act has gone through the U.S. House. In fact, in a massively bipartisan fashion, it was passed without any real discussion or debate, which is exactly what its proponents want, because if you get down to the nitty gritty of what it actually would do, fundamentally on the ground, pragmatically to U.S. copyright law, it would basically destroy all small creators in the country. I'm very concerned about it. Uh, it's basically, it's like SOPA, PIPA, ACTA, all of these bad laws that they've proposed in the past, um, and we need to do something about it, namely to inform the Senate <clears throat> that instead of doing what the House did, which is say, well, we're just gonna pass it, we don't even give a fuck. Most of the Republicans backed it, most of the Democrats backed it, there were a handful of people that held out. The Senate, because of the way in which it's been implemented in the United States, is meant deliberately to slow down things like this. The point is that when a bunch of people get together, and then they've been sucking the corporate tea, and this is why, people in the House took the corporate cash, they fast-tracked this particular bill in order to front it. Now it's been gone, it's gone over to the Senate, um, and the Senate is meant to say, well, let's slow down here and actually look at what it actually will do, because that, it appears that that wasn't done. The CASE Act on its surface would be great, like, I'm going to use myself as a profuse example here. I'm an author, I'm an editor, I make videos as well for a living, sometimes I do some musical shit. On the surface, the CASE Act actually benefits somebody like me. It gives me more intellectual control over my, my video footage, my literature, the blurbs on my blogs and stuff. It gives me more control. The problem arises when you consider the fact that the CASE Act, because of its structure, it creates an obtuse bureaucratic authority, essentially, to handle these cases which has little or no actual repercussion for misuse and therefore plenty of reasons to be misused. If you create a system that can be misused and the repercussions for that misuse potentially at the very least are less than the possible consequences of being the target of its misuse, it will be misused. We've seen this, by the way, in living color on tech sites when they create obtuse systems of rules that actually benefit going on flagging raids that benefit trolls to go out and, and mass flag material or benefit people to do similar things. We've seen this with YouTube's rule system. There's currently very little chance if you false flag somebody's content that you'll get banned. But if you do that, its algorithms are, are more likely than you are to face any repercussions to actually ban that user. Now, of course, they'll reverse the strike. This has happened to me myself as well, but it takes days sometimes. So the, the, the consequence to a large creator on YouTube of being hit with such a claim is maybe for several days they can't live stream, they can't upload any new content, maybe their channel is temporarily gone so the people that like their older material can't watch it. That person suffers, the fans suffer. What's the consequence for that user that did the flagging? Usually nothing. Because they can skate by and say, well, I thought it violated the rules. And as long as it isn't really wonky and out there and they're not botting the system or something, they probably don't, you don't even know who's doing the flagging. There's no real consequences. The CASE Act would fundamentally function in the same way. The problem is this. As an editor, I use out of copyright old works that I derive from. What I do is, in many cases with my editing, I'll take some work from the middle of the 1700s, I'll go through, I'll replicate it if necessary, or optical character recognition certainly can speed the process. I go through line by line, I reformat the whole thing, I have to go through it and make sure there are no spelling errors or egregious word uh, usage mistakes. Sometimes people back then were only semi-literate when they were publishing books, which is interesting. Um, new cover, new, new everything. Everything's different, basically. It's, it's a shined, uh, cleaned up version of that same text that's actually in a modern format for the modern reader. The problem is that somebody can come along under the Case Act and claim that they hold some non-existent copyright and there's really no repercussion for it. Some, some bureaucrat somewhere will decide whether money is owed without any real possibility of defense. It would allow the weaponization of the copyright system on an untold scale. What's going to happen is that corporations will use it against smaller creators. And they'll file false claims in order to crush them under knowing that they can't actually battle it out in a legal sense. It would be too expensive and time consuming. Right now, there's some degree of, of decorum involved. 
there's some degree of restraint involved because that corporation has to go to a judge and justify itself. It can't simply say to you, uh, you can't upload this, you can't write this, you can't do whatever. This creates a totally separate authority that will fast track the entire system. So for me, let's say I wanted to be an asshole. I could target every single person that ever used a clip of me without permission anywhere on the internet at any time. In, in, in the last however many years that this case act would allow it to be applied to. I could ask them for money. Then somebody could be an asshole to me, turn around and say, well, no, no, you, you, this sentence that you use sounds topically similar to what I said two years ago. This term that you used, this blog blurb, this book, oh, you know, that's my great, great grandpa that wrote it. I'm claiming copyright. It would be so messy. It doesn't make any sense. Now, thankfully, some people are saying that it's likely not to even get taken up by the Senate. That is, that basically the Senate will never even debate on it in the first place. It'll never even be considered its DOA. I hope that that's the case, but you should contact your senator if you're in the U.S. And because this could apply outside of the United States, you should probably contact, uh, you know, so you contact the tech firms too. Get all tech aboard. I haven't seen anything about this from like Gab and BitChute and these sites too. They would potentially be targeted by the Case Act. This is worse than anything that we've seen in recent history as far as an attack upon content creation. So I urge everybody to do their part. Contact your senator if you're in the United States. If you're not, contact these alt tech sites. Talk about it. Now, the best thing to support free speech is more speech. So, you know, hashtag stop the Case Act or whatever. I think it would be a disaster. It, it would probably get weaponized, especially against people who are outspoken. The more outspoken you are, you know, if you sit there like a wallflower, you never bother anybody, it's one thing. But if you're visible, if you're highly visible and, and controversial at all, we've already seen the weaponization of, of the flagging system on tech sites. We've already seen the weaponization of the TOS of every mainline website in existence. Why would this not be misused? It would be so easily misused. There's no reason, by the way, it doesn't solve any problem. What problem does this solve? Small creators can get money for their, so it's basically the counterpart to European copyright law overhauls that have already, even, even though they haven't even been fully debated over and implemented, they've already caused chaos with US news sites. Like I'm in, I'm currently in the EU. There are news sites that I can't use. They will not allow me access. You have to use a VPN to use them. They've done that as a preemptive sort of a, a, a warning to people. Hey, you know, if, we, if we're open to European users, we put the wrong link down, we get sued. Is that going to happen under the Case Act? Oh, probably. It's basically the U.S. answer to the same shitty Euro law that's already been uh, so frustrating for people. And it's already pointless. Again, it solves no problem. It's not going to help. You're, you're banned with its five fucking album sales. You're, you're banned. I'm sorry. The Case Act is not going to help you become rich and famous and, and help you become the next Leonard Skinner. It's just not going to happen. The, fa the fact is I probably won't be the next PewDiePie. The Case Act is not going to allow me to do that, but it will weaponize the copyright system against anyone creating works, especially of a derivative nature. If you think it's frustrating now that people get all self-righteous and messed up about the fact that somebody took some clips of them in order for the purposes of legitimate satire or commentary, and they go crazy, they go, they go fucking bananas, and they try to file copyright claims and, and, and legal claims and all this bullshit, it'll be 10 times worse under the case act these tech for some tech firms that platform content it's not clear how they'd even be able to exist under the case act so yes i would say no it's not a fucking problem don't worry about it too much no you should be worried but don't be afraid i mean don't get black pill just fucking contact your senator if applicable are you a constituent within the united states if not maybe you can talk and maybe other governments can weigh in i mean this would definitely affect people overseas do you use any derivative works from U.S. content creators anywhere on the internet? Whoops, that's a problem. This is also kind of like an anti-meme law. Well, most of those are derivative works. What, so if I, if I did 100 hours in MS Paint, if I make a cute picture that displays an image that goes viral and people start spreading it around, are you saying under the Case Act, couldn't I sue all of those people and say, well, you owe me 50 cents for posting this on your blog as long as it's there? It'd be nuts to do that, but, you know, it could be misused that way. And there's no repercussion to doing so. You are literally encouraging people to game the system in order to fuck with one another. As we've seen, that's usually not a good idea. It hasn't worked on many tech sites before. It's not going to work in general now. 
That's about all. Peace out.